Hi everyone, I got my brand new 2024 planner. I'm using the Happy Planner, but I did have this cover made. It says winter is coming. And uh, this lady that does these on Etsy, I'll post her in the uh, description below. She even monograms for you as well. So anyway, I hope you guys stick around and let's do the hashtag plan fun, get things done. Hi everyone, I'm Nancy and welcome back to my channel. To my viewers, my subscribers, thank you guys so much for taking a few minutes out of your day to spend with me. It means more to me than I can ever let you know, so thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. If you're new to my channel, I hope you take a quick second, hit that little red subscribe button at the bottom of this page. I would love for you to come back and join us for future videos. Your comments, of course, are always welcome and I appreciate your thumbs up as well. So anyway, we are doing an open collab for our planners and I am so thankful to Jazzy from Crafty Girl Chronicles for taking on this new project for hosting our Plan With Me videos. Our new hashtag is hashtag plan fun, get things done. And again, it's our lovely hostess, Jazzy at Crafty Girl Chronicles. Her motto is have some fun while planning our household chores and errands with self-care, crafting, your favorite hobbies, perhaps a nap. She had me at nap. So anyway, please check out Jazzy's channel. She's so talented. She does a lot of crafting projects as well. I know that you are going to fall in love with her. And um, it's a new collab that Jazzy took control of this year, so I'm really appreciative of that. But there's only a few of us that have joined so far, so if you know anyone that loves to do planners, whether it's meal planning or your household chores, your schedule at work or doctor's appointments, physical therapy appointments, if you're doing like a weight loss journal and you're documenting your exercising or your children's activities or after school sports and appointments, things like that, anything like that we'd love to see. Whether you use it on a calendar or a piece of paper, something maybe you do on a spreadsheet on your computer or whatever type of planner you have. I'm using the Big and Happy Happy Planner, or just the Big Happy Planner. I love this horizontal style. It works best for me. And I use thumbnails from videos that I do. I just want to kind of document my YouTube journey. And when I don't have thumbnails, I like doing a little bit of journaling, putting in maybe some pictures to mem mem remember something or cherish something or something that's going on in my life. So anyway, I am always so far behind. Last week, I did three week, the last three weeks in December. I'm going to do this week the first two weeks in January. And then going next week, I will just be my normal one week behind. That's my plan anyway. That's my plan, and I'm trying to stick to it. Alrighty, so starting New Year's Day, Monday, New Year's Day, January 1st, going through Sunday, January 7th. So on New Year's Day, of course, we have the day off, and I've got my thumbnail here. I was uh, doing, announced my contest, my giveaway, for the Help Me Pick My Ugly Sweater of the Vlogmas series that I did. Back to Tuesday, it was our first day back to work. I worked until 8.15 that day, so just a little slightly over 12 hours. I have a sticker here that I used for a Happy New Year. And um, I just uh, posted a little story. Well, not a story, just a statement. So Raina, our oldest daughter, Raina, my husband, Jeremy, and their two children, Quinn and Matt, came up for Christmas. And we just had so much fun. We had a great time. We ate a lot. We visited some new places. We went to places that we've been to before. Um, and it was just really, really great to see them. It was just sad when they left and then right after that bam i got some kind of bad cold or some kind of crappy crud that's going around but you know it was so worth it to see them and i'm just so happy they were able to come on wednesday it would have been rick and i our 48 year anniversary i had worked till 8 30. i still worked five hours on youtube 
and I also decided to try to get back on doing doing the treadmill. So I just figured I was going to do baby steps like I did with my elliptical. So I just did six minutes on the treadmill. It was just a, a nice little start. And the pictures that I have here, so this would be Rick and I on our wedding day. So it's like our first official picture together. And this picture is at a Harley Davidson event and it probably would have been um, the fall of 2016. It was probably the last picture that we had together. And on to Thursday, I worked till 8.30, so another 12 and a half hour day. It was recycle and trash day. I did four hours on YouTube and I did the treadmill again for nine minutes. It was really, really hard. Um, it was just because of this cold or crap, whatever I was having, it was really hard and I just, I just couldn't do it anymore. So on January 3rd, I was lucky enough to marry my best friend and soulmate. And then over here is a picture of me with our flower girl and our bridesmaids and maid of honor. And we are almost ready to head out to the church. On to Friday. So I worked until 9 o'clock. And because I think I pushed myself or maybe it was just inevitable that it was going to happen anyway. But I had lost my voice completely and just really no energy at all. I did order a pizza because I was just too tired to do anything. And I worked on YouTube five hours and I just used this sticker here which says when nothing is sure everything is possible on to Saturday so it's coffee please so I videoed um, some videos here and I edited I did jewelry for the let's in style and it was really hard to get through. I had to do take a lot of breaks. So sorry. So those videos are really, really choppy. So I did uh, three videos, separating that into three videos. I also did Timu number 39. I worked on YouTube for about 10 hours. No, I am still not caught up. And for the pictures, it didn't make it into my December. But Sabrina had sent pictures of the jelly beans here. So Aiden and Tori. Tori loves getting kind of physical and hugging Aiden, as you can see, grown boy, yeah, then he's not quite into it. But anyway, with the new Christmas Eve pajamas, and Sabrina took a picture to share with us. And because they were in the pajamas, I thought I would take this old picture here of Matt. I call him Matty Matt, but his name's Matthew. He's getting older now. And Quinn. And it was the year that Rena and Jeremy took them to the Polar Express. So they're sitting on Santa's lap in their pajamas on to Sunday so I had edited the videos from the day before and I also edited Timu I worked on YouTube for 10 hours I worked on my planner and I had a target um, home delivery and then um, just I just wrote a little bit here 2024 new year I had planned on taking this week off from videos to catch up didn't plan on getting sick Oh well, life goes on. I decided to start the treadmill, baby steps, maybe five minutes a day, two days, then bam, stupid crap, and yeah, I just had no energy, and I was down for the count. The pictures I put here on the bottom is actually Rick and my, Rick and not my, but me, we had uh, flown, we drove home right after Quinn was born, and um, of course we had to go out visit Sandy Neck Beach. That was our favorite beach back in Massachusetts. We had a, a four-wheel drive camping beach. And so that was Quinn's first trip out to the beach. It was a little cold. It was in October, a little bit windy. So we left Quinn in the car seat with his blankets. Uh, this is a park um, not too far from the house, maybe a 20-minute ride from our house. Um, it's got a nice area up in front with a nice fire pit for like nighttime telling stories. It's a steep, steep walk down to the water. Um, Rick had both his legs then, and so we were able to, to go down and just kind of walk along the shoreline of the river. People would picnic down there. I know, don't remember ever seeing anyone swimming, but you could watch the boats go by. And we had Lady Penelope back then, so she would come with us, and of course Penny would go in the water. 
And then this other picture I have here is when we went to Myrtle Beach, South Carolina for bike break in 2014. At that point, Rick had, um, had two amputations. So we had the below the knee and then they had to go above the knee. And, uh, yeah, so he, we had the uh, bike with a sidecar. We had a wheelchair in the sidecar so we could take that out and just kind of go around see some sites and yeah so one place we're at they were just taking pictures of everyone and then when you go by they would give you like a number so when you got home you could go online and order the pictures so anyway let's get on to week number two alrighty so we are back with the second week in January so we are starting Monday January 8th and we go through Sunday January 14th this is my mom's birthday week, so she would be 96 years old this week. And so I just wanted to put some pictures up here and to just kind of celebrate her life. So starting on Monday, it is back to work. I worked another 12 hours. And then I've got that coffee pot there because some days you need more than a cup. And I also had to send paperwork to the office. We had our first shovelable snow. So I spent about 30 minutes outside shoveling the driveway and walkway when I got out of work. And I've got this picture here of my mom. I think we might, might have been in Carefree, Arizona. I'd gone to visit her and we just went to different places. And she always, might have even been Sedona, and she just always loved posing. And so she posed with that mannequin and had my phone and snapped a picture of her. On to Tuesday, so I had uploaded Timu number 39. I worked 12 and a half hours. I only worked on YouTube two and a half hours. I was just so, so tired. I'm not going to say, say what it says, but I was just so, so tired. I was in bed before midnight, and that is very, very hard for me. My thumbnail is just the uh, YouTube, my thumbnail for the YouTube video. On to Wednesday, so that's my mom's birthday, and again, she would have been 96 years old. Uh, it was a short day for me. I only worked 11 and a half hours. I tried to do the treadmill again, and I was able to get a half mile in. It was also trash day. I worked on YouTube for five and a half hours, and I've got some pictures of my mom here. So this is a picture of my mom and um, her sister, which is my Aunt Gertrude. It was probably 1931, 1932. And uh, with the background there, um, they are in Middleburg, New York. And that was her Aunt Margie, so my great Aunt Margie's house in New York. This picture here is probably 1935, maybe, maybe 38, right in there. Boston, Mass. And she's sitting outside with one of her pet kitty cats. On to Thursday. So I worked 12 and a half hours. I actually did DoorDash and had a Philly, Philly sub delivered. It was so, so good. I did the treadmill again, so I did 23 minutes, and that was only 8.847 miles. Um, I worked on YouTube for hours, and that's a picture of my mom there. And she happened to bring some cabbage patches for the girls. So it was a year of the cabbage patch. And... They weren't that popular when they first came out. I don't know if anyone remembers that, but they were in the stores. They were everywhere. No one was buying them. And then all of a sudden they decided to do this promo. So it was on news stations about how people could take, keep them in the stores. And there was all these rushes, but there really wasn't at that time. But right after those news stories came out, it was Cabbage Patch Mania. But my mom had already bought them because she said, you know, this is going to be big. And she was right. And the girls really loved their Cabbage Patch dolls. So on to Friday, a short day. I only worked till 6 o'clock, so I only did um, a 10-hour day. Um, but I, you know why? Because I fell asleep in my office chair. I was so, so tired still. I think I pushed myself on uh, Wednesday and Thursday doing the treadmill. It was just a little bit too much for me. So I actually fell asleep in my office chair. I must have fallen asleep around 6 o'clock. That was when I sent my last email. And um, I woke up about 2 in the morning. And by then I was wide awake. So it was first it's like, oh no, where am I? Did I sleep tonight? Am I late for work? Whatever. So anyway, when I woke up at 2.30, 
I woke up at 2, and then at, by 2.30 I said, you know, I can't get back to sleep. So I logged on to YouTube, worked a couple of hours, and I went back to bed at 7 in the morning. The picture that I have here is in the backyard, and it was before Rick lost um, his legs, and my mom had come out to visit. And he was, we have woods in back of the house, and Rick had cleared a path in the woods. And so he was taking my mom for the ride of her life on his four-wheeler there, and she had a blast. I think that was the summer of 2001. Life is good. On to Saturday. So I had uploaded the video number one of the Let's In Style. And I also did a video for my Ipsy, uh, the BoxyCharm. I got Splash and you wine subscription. Don't know why I did it, but I did. Well, I kind of know why I did it. But anyway, so I had videoed that. I had done the color and create with us and the planner, so I got all those videoed. Um, other than that, it was a lazy day. I got those done, and then I just kind of vegged out on the couch. But I may have accidentally ordered a Timu order. I uh, did a little face mask while I was being lazy. I had plenty of coffee, and again, working on my planner. On to Sunday, it was like, but first, coffee. It was cold, so we went into a cold snap. We've been 25 below zero for a few days. It was so, so cold, so I've got this sticker here, cold as you know what, and then again, just so, so tired. I just kept falling asleep, so I'm tired as you know what as well. I had edited and uploaded my boxy charm, but I forgot to include it because I had already done this little thing over here, so I'll probably put that in next week if I have room, and I started to edit the up. The videos that I had done the day before. Um, down here at the bottom, I've got a picture of my mom and dad at my wedding. That is my mom's high school graduation. It was Longfellow School in Boston, and her class was 1942. Uh, this picture is a picture of my mom with her favorite doggy, which she called Trooper. Um, I believe it's about 1949, and they're in someplace in the Appalachians. Um, they were in a traveling carnival. Um, my dad's uh, parents and their brother, they owned a traveling carnival, and my mom and dad worked on that. My dad did all the electrical work, setting up the rides and getting all the electricity to everything. And um, on to what this says. So it just says, birthdays, holidays can be hard. December 19th, it's Rick's birthday. Then comes Christmas. January 3rd is our anniversary. January 10th is my mom's birthday. February 6th is my brother Bill's birthday if he's gone. And my dad's birthday, March 3rd. But I choose to be happy and celebrate their lives. Their lives are worth celebrating. So anyway, that is it for my planner. I want to thank you guys so much for stopping in, spending some time with me. Again, your comments are always welcome. I appreciate the time that you spend with me. It really means a lot to me. I hope everyone goes out, has a fabulous, fabulous day. Take care, everyone. Stay safe. Be kind. Be happy. Enjoy life. Have some fun. And again, if you are free to join this open collab, we would really love to see this grow. And if you do decide to participate, just use the hashtag, hashtag plan fun, get things done, and reference our lovely hostess Jazzy at Crafty Girl Chronicles. Thanks again, everyone. Love you guys so much. Can't wait to see you in our next video.